Uh, our I just, our it's biggest a threat that I see right now is not the natural disaster. And I'm going to share a little story that happened here in the state of Washington and in, into Oregon. It was um, we had someone was doing an upgrade. So if if you don't know the telephony system, the old phone system used to be a TDM based uh, system is now pretty much IP based. Pretty much everything when it comes to telecommunications is pretty well IP based. So there's routers involved. Well, CenturyLink was uh, doing some router upgrades and they had, they fat fingered a keyboard, you know, and put in a, a bad config caused the 911 system to fail here in Washington state and parts of Oregon. And what had happened was that, uh, well, you called 911, you went nowhere. It, it was, but from the time that the person did the upgrade or the configuration change in a router, it was hour, it was another hour or so before it was realized what the, what was going on. Our local phone company here in in Ellensburg, we, are, we have a small phone company. They recognized that right away, so they did a a a, a digit. Uh, or they just did a, essentially call forwarding. They set up in the phone switch that if someone dialed nine one one, it would just ring it to the, the the ten digit phone number, the basic the business line to the to Kitcom. Well, that was great for Lower County, but in Upper County, they were under CenturyLink. Was their provider they had nothing hmm. so now we had people that if they tried call 911 both on landline and cellular they went nowhere so this is a thing where amateurs could come into play where if there was a relationship between the dispatch center they could say hey we got the local radio station we can send out a you know a, a PSA that says if you have a problem and you need to call, go to your local fire station. There will be a radio amateur operator that can relay that message to another ham that could be sitting in the data or the, the dispatch center. That is one thing that could happen. So, I mean, and that was not a disaster or anything. That was a an everyday thing. And these, these are the things that... We have to be flexible. And this is where this local relationship comes up. If we have this scenario, how would you like us to respond? And uh, so it's just, you know, when it happened, I went, oh, shoot, we should have, you know, ham radio operators at all the fire stations because everybody knows where their local fire station is, whether it's a volunteer station or a career staff. But it's um, it, having someone there to, to take the, the information and then pass it along then we can you know continue on our our services as first responders so that's one example and uh, there's many so for complete episodes subscribe where you get podcasts and click the bell here on youtube for features and live streams